गुड इवनिंग दिस इज डेटिंग कोच डॉक्टर दबे एंड माई क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे इज वॉट इज एन एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिलेशनशिप एंड डज इट लीड टू एनी काइंड ऑफ बेनिफिशियल थिंग नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल यू वॉट इज एन एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिलेशनशिप एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिलेशनशिप इज समथिंग विच यू गेट इन टू वन आफ्टर अनदर विद मल्टीपल पार्टनर्स नॉट इवन रियलाइजिंग वॉट यूर गेटिंग आउट ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप so basically it's like you know uh, you would be in a relationship with just anybody of any age uh, and sometimes even of any gender uh, without uh, actually thinking about the consequences or whether you are benefiting from it or you are being harmed by it so that is basically an experimental relationship now why does this experimental relationship happen normally experimental relationships happen when you are more than 30 or more you are more than 40 it generally does not happen before that yes of course sometimes if uh, if a young adult has decided to marry late then he or she would be in a lot of multiple relationships before they settle down uh, to marrying a single person and uh, you know like uh, resorting to monogamy but for many people uh, they are not able to get into multiple relationships or experimental relationships at that point of time now what may happen when you are a young adult you may want to get into a new career and you may be busy in that you may get married early and then you are busy with your partner or you may be busy raising your children now what happens is when you reach your 30s and your 40s you have finished with all those uh, responsibilities sometimes what happens that your marriage ends in a divorce and then what happens you realize that you have missed out a lot of things uh, when you are a young adult which now you would like to fulfill of course uh, that uh, age and time is gone but still you want to kind of relive the past and make sure that things which you have missed out in the past you want to get it now so what happens is uh, actually when you try to get into an experimental relationship in, in your 30s and 40s you constantly are trying to develop a fixed and a rigid pattern and then you tend to fall into a loop where you are doing the same thing again and again and again so uh, coming to the gist of the uh, whole question is that uh, experimental relationships do not lead to any kind of growth right so i hope you understand what is an experimental relationship and if you are getting into one or you are already into one make sure that you uh, consider what i have already said thank you and i hope to see you next week